I'm gonna show you how to get your opponents into one of the most efficient strangle there is, the triangle choke. Doesn't matter if you're a complete beginner or a seasoned practitioner of the art. All of this applies to you and we're starting right now. Everybody, my name is Patrick Ronan. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to dominate bigger, stronger, and faster opponents using jiu-jitsu, start right now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Without further ado, let's jump straight into technique. In this close guard situation, my partner has control of both my collars in one hand to keep me down. He's also controlling the side of my pants or belt, using his other hand to control my hip movements. I roll up his sleeve for a better grip. Then I switch to a Kimura-like control so I can break his grip with little effort. This grip variation helps with the break. It puts more stress onto the fingers as I push the grip away and over my head. Notice that, at the same time, I'm rolling my wrist up and extending myself away to increase the grip breaking potential of this technique. Once the grip is broken, I let go of my outside sleeve grip and swim inside the loop. Notice that I am not staying flat. I am crunching in as I pull the grip over and behind my head for extra control. This crunched position has two main purposes. First, it creates more space for my overhook to come in. Second, it off balances my partner, which in return gives me more momentum and reach as I dig in for that underhook. Next, I'm extending my spine away from him, going back flat on the mat so I can reach deeper and grab his far collar. Notice that as I let go of the overhead sleeve grip, I automatically go and fix the collar grip. This will help with follow-up techniques we will see next week. Now, with his posture under control, I must free my right leg. To do so, I start by getting a C-grip control over his far elbow. Then, I push off his right hip, getting my hips away from his. That hip escape motion allows me to get my knee out. Then, I switch from my C-grip to a wrist grab as I extend my spine away one more time to create more space so I can get my whole leg out next. Now, I kick my leg up to break his grip. Notice that I also extend my arm straight. So as I get my leg out, my opponent cannot take that space away no matter how strong he is. In this case, he's not. I love Nick to death. He has really good jiu-jitsu, but he's not strong. Hashtag frame beats muscle every time. Remember that. Now, I bend my leg and loop it out. I go straight to what I call a triangle trap position. Then, I let go of the wrist and reach for the crown of his head since he might try to posture back up. Only then I let go of my overhook. I pull my arm out and I grab my shin near the ankle. This grip attaches my whole weight to his shoulders and it reinforces the triangle so I can let go of the triangle trap. Post my foot on the hip, push off it and pivot to my right. Now for the finish, I bring my knee towards his elbow and pinch it tight. Notice that both of my knees are pointing in the same directions. My shins are parallel to each other. Also, I'm making sure to close the triangle in a way that I don't see my partner's shoulder through anymore. My leg is covering the whole thing and it's tight against his ear. Then, I proceed to lock the triangle, but not to the detriment of the angle of my knees. Notice that I'm not locking my right foot deep behind my own knee. I will only go as deep as my opponent's size allows without compromising my angles. Also, I do not bring the arm across in this variation as it makes the escape easier, but this is a subject for another time. To conclude, I do a leg curl for the tap. As simple as that, voila. I actually have an entire playlist about the close guard. I'll put a link to that right here so you can go check it out right now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to eat your veggies and try not to be a piece of shit.